350 plus books read and consumed, eight years of trial and error experimentation, and I'm hired by seven to eight figure entrepreneurs to help them make way more money, work way less, and have way more universal flow. So when it comes to this manifestation, reality creation stuff, I'd say I know my shit. And here's the thing, there's a lot of shit. When it comes to manifestation, you're probably getting caught up in the trap of the latest techniques, the latest trends, the latest methods, which are like the tides they come and go and this is why you're struggling to consistently manifest but it's okay because you're not alone and it's not your fault there's a lot of shit out there everybody's getting caught up on the latest affirmation technique the best subliminals the best way to do your vision board because that's just shiny object syndrome what you need to do is do what the masters of every field do learn the principles and once you learn the principles that are eternal and timeless it doesn't matter about the latest and the newest because you hone in on what really matters and that's how you get your reality to change now over the course of everything that i've told you eight years 350 plus books serving as a seven to eight figure esoteric advisor i have a lot of experience so what i've done for you is put that into 16 laws of reality creation and if you follow these 16 laws you won't ever get caught up like everybody else principles are power and with that being said here's 16 timeless laws of reality creation Law number one, all beliefs must serve you. The successful reality creator understands that beliefs are the building blocks of their reality. So to build the reality they desire, they choose the right bricks. Any belief or idea held in the mind which does not serve you is merely there to control you and it will. Because what you have to understand is you are an energetic being, which means the universe wants your energy and it will use beliefs to drain energy from you without you even realizing. And the beliefs will trick you into to thinking that you're right and you're only right because you believe you are it's the same way that if you believe you can then you're right and if you believe you can't you're right again the belief will continue to exist based upon the energy that's been poured into it every belief and idea must contribute towards the materialization of the reality you want and if you have ideas and beliefs that oppose it they are the building blocks of failure and you must get rid of them law to guard your energy by setting boundaries energy serves as the basis of the universe and it is a form of cosmic currency that everything in existence wants from beliefs to people to entities they all want your energy the successful reality creator knows that every interaction is an energy exchange so their energy must be protected so they have something to actually invest into you might come off as being cold or even rude but you have to keep people to certain limits as a protective mechanism of your energy because if you don't have enough energy for yourself you don't have enough energy to invest into creating the reality that you want you must wisely only grant access to those those that you choose. You must understand that your mind must be like a gated community and not a McDonald's drive through Law number three, imagination over logic. The successful reality creator leans into what others call delusion. You gotta be delusional and that's fine. The easiest way to live a sad life is to be realistic. Be delusional. That's the only way your desired reality will materialize. To be realistic is to live from the boundaries of what others have decided is possible. They have decided what's possible based on what they can see, but the eyes can only see 0.0035% of what actually exists in reality. You don't see the other 99.9965%, which means if we're looking at this air quotes logically, there's more unseen than there is seen. So does it make sense to define the potential of what you can achieve from 0.0035% or does it make more sense to define your potential from 99.9965%? Damn those numbers are crazy. Anyways to create reality from the possibilities and impossibilities of others is to be their prisoner. It's like what Steve Jobs said, the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that really do and what I would change that to is the people who are crazy enough to think they can change their world are the ones that do and it's like what Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Law 4 
abundance over anything. The successful reality creator only lives with an abundance mindset. The creator, whether you want to call that Allah, Yahweh, Jehovah, God, the infinite intelligence, the source, the most high, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that due to its divine spark being within you, you are part of that infinite nature. When we kind of translate that to the world, that is expressed as abundance. Abundance is your cosmic birthright. It's not a privilege as you've been tricked into thinking it is. It's your birthright. And this belief serves as a foundation for you to experience prosperity and opportunity. There is more than enough and anyone who says otherwise isn't speaking from God. In order for you to actually experience abundance, you must first actually be in a consciousness of abundance because the universe is always trying to give you things. But if you're not in an abundant mindset, then you are not in a receptive state to receive what the universe or God wants to give you. Once you're in that abundant state of mind, there is no blockages. So things will be given to you. It's almost like in an abundant state of mind, you're like a sponge that's not being squeezed. You can absorb whatever it is that you want. But when you're in a scarcity mindset, you're squeezing the sponge and a sponge that is being squeezed cannot absorb what it wants. Law by gratitude is God. The successful reality creator knows that the nearer you are to the source, the more you shall receive. And the soul that lives in gratitude lives closest to God. Gratitude emits a frequency that you have already received your desire, which is a prerequisite to it materializing. Connect gratitude to your goal and be grateful that you've already have received it and the universe will move you closer to that reality. Gratitude is a secret power that brought Lazarus back to life. And if you don't know who Lazarus is, it was a man that died in the Bible and Christ brought him back. And once you understand that Christ is consciousness, then everything is gonna change because here's the thing, before Christ had even seen Lazarus come back to life at all, and everybody was like, where is he, where is he gonna come back? Christ said in John 11, 41, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, which means that Christ was already grateful for Lazarus being brought back to life before he had even seen Lazarus being brought back to life. So if you want to do the impossible, you need to be already grateful for it ahead of time and and then it shall happen. You must rest in a solidified state of mind that it has happened and be grateful for it as if it has happened physically on the physical plane. Law 6. Manifestation isn't about changing reality, it's about changing you. Why do you do manifestation techniques? It's to create reality, right? Wrong. Manifestation techniques should never be done to create reality because they can't. Affirmations won't create your reality, neither will visualization and neither will vision boards. The true purpose of manifestation techniques is to shift your state of mind to a degree where you no longer need to see reality change to experience the emotions that you would get from seeing it change. You'll know you shifted properly when you are no longer emotionally dependent upon seeing your desired reality materialized. When you can feel so good that you don't need it to manifest, then it will manifest. Law 7. Love the success of others. The successful reality creator understands that an important concept is non-duality, which is we are all one. You meet no one but yourself. Everybody is just a mask that God is wearing. Due to the truth of us being one, each individual who appears to be separated from you is simply you in a different physical expression. So the ideas that you project onto them come back to you. To love and to celebrate the success of others is to celebrate love and the success of yourself, which which emits a beacon of light into the universe for it to visit you. In the same manner, the negativity projected onto others will eventually come back onto you. So learn to love seeing other people win. And this is why so many people can't win. You have to learn to love it as if you're winning. And at that point, things will be much easier for you. And it's difficult because we're always fighting the primal side of who we are. But you must transcend and rise above that and ascend to the high levels of consciousness, which is unconditional love. Law 8. Solitude is sacred. The successful reality creator does not see solitude as loneliness or being a loner, but sees it as a powerful tool that they can use to unveil the social mask and explore the depths of who they really are. Solitude opens up the door for the gifts of self-analysis, self-observation, and self-purification. The real you is who you are when nobody is around and the social mask is off. The more that you're the real you, the more that authenticity makes room for the God self to bring you the wisdom that brings you closer to your reality.
Law? No, never be serious. Have you ever noticed that extremely successful people seem fun? Like, the successful reality creator is always laughing and playful like a child because this is the truest essence of God. Seriousness is a disease of adulthood that is rigid and doesn't allow for the universal flaw to pass through you. It's this energy that you need to create the reality that you want. It's like what it says in Matthew 18, 3 and said, truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom kingdom of heaven. Law 10. Be comfortable with being the black sheep. The successful reality creator understands that the success that they desire will come with a disconnect and a separation from their friends and family. Despite knowing this, they are willing to stand out despite no longer conforming to the group norms. Social contracts are parasitic agreements that you signed up for as a human to receive love and approval for the exchange of your conformity. By breaking these contracts, you will detach from your unconscious attachment to staying the same. Because especially where I grew up in the the hood like well i can't say i grew up in the hood because it wasn't dangerous but it was just the ghetto in it but anyways i'm getting sidetracked most people have an issue with change just like it's almost said as something negative are oh, you changed or you, you acting different but you have to change to become the butterfly from the caterpillar that you are to reach the heights of your mind's potential you have to be comfortable with being the black sheep and being isolated and it's important that you surround yourself with other like-minded black sheep that are on your journey and if you don't have those then you need them or you will not survive and you will end up becoming like everybody else so make sure you join the 21st century alchemist community link in the description law 11 stay intellectually humble the successful reality creator knows that humility is the basis of all spiritual and intellectual evolution knowledge is the vehicle to the destination that is your dreams which means you must be open to all knowledge and unless you humble yourself you won't be able to accept it think back to the sponge when you're squeezing you can't receive but when you relax and open and let go you can receive you must forever remain a student and humble yourself to all perspectives of life no matter the appearance remember but appearance is just an illusion. You cannot know the truth and search for it. As Lao Tzu says to paraphrase him, he says something to the effect of those who talk do not know and those who know do not talk. Law 12. All failure is a success. The successful reality creator sees no such thing as failure, but due to the law of polarity, failure and success are one energy simply at different vibrations. With your perception, you can alter the vibration of a circumstance such as failure and turn every loss into a win, every failure into a success, and every setback into a comeback. With this understanding, there is no failure, for it's an illusion, which is a temporary condition that will change when your perception towards it changes. People don't realize how much power perception has. It's probably the most underrated tool in your metaphysical arsenal. One of my clients literally made 5.4 million in four weeks after spending seven years making the exact same amount of money every single year, which was 2 million. And it's all because we got him to change his perception towards failure because your perception feeds into your projection. Now, if you're an entrepreneur who's stuck in a rut and wants to elevate their business by letting their God self allow them to earn more, work less with way less struggle and way more calm than link in the description and napoleon hill says something to the effects of every failure brings with it the seed of equivalent success law 13 you are what you eat just mentally while majority of the world mindlessly consumes content or information every placement of attention of the successful reality creator is a careful conscious decision you must not let yourself just consume anything because every placement of attention is an investment into something whether you realize it or not the subconscious mind never sleeps law 14 you can only have what you already have an annoying law of the universe is that you can only have what you already have wanting something repels you from it because the universe picks up the frequency that you don't have it and just reflects exactly that if you want it then you'll never get it in your mind you need to decide that what you want is already done and it already is yours and then it shall be Law 15. Use adversity as a test for self-mastery. The successful reality creator understands that the nature of the universe is that there will always be highs and lows in your life. Where is it? An 
as a result, when low show up, it's test time. As you begin creating a new reality, the old version of yourself will attempt to remain alive by throwing adversity and struggles back your way to try to catch your attention, which is energy because where attention goes, energy flows, so it can stay alive. All challenges that come your way must be embraced. They are an opportunity for you to exercise self-mastery by remaining firm in the notion that your desire has already manifested and not granting an emotional reaction because if you do, you will go back to that state of reality. Law 16. Meditation is mandatory. Psalm 4610. Be still and know that I am God. The successful reality creator is always meditating. And this doesn't mean you have to be sat on a mountain in an orange robe, literally emptying your mind. Meditation is simply the act of turning away from the outer world and going into the inner world. It is going into the silence. This travel into the inner dimension where you will meet God and is also the epicenter of the enfoldment of your reality. Meditation serves as a cure for the chaos that the ego ego has become addicted to by depriving it of that chaos and forcing it to be still because when you exercise your will over the ego this is the pathway to self-mastery and if you want to learn more about how to master yourself you can go see my four paths to self-mastery video which will help you do exactly that now when you're ready there's two ways i can help you if you've ever felt lost on your journey or alone both of these things are dangerous because it makes it difficult for you to maintain your frequency to actually change so join the community of like-minded black sheep that are creating reality without the woo woo nonsense the 21st century alchemist community link in the description and if you're an entrepreneur who's stuck in a rut then there's free video training in the description that will allow your god self to transform and excel your business and life so you can earn more with more flow less work and less struggle